Hi, and welcome back to my office. Today we are just in the shadow of this one building that doesn't have a store in it anymore. Um, it's just saving some electricity. We're going green today at my office, or this week, really. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, catch up with you guys. I know it's Sunday. I know I'm working on a Sunday, but... Um, First of all, weekends are just made up and they happen to poor people, or they happen to rich people. I should read through this take. Hey there, and welcome back to my office. Today we are parked in the shadow of this building that um, closed down so they can't care, and it's not a fire lane. The fire lane is behind us. We are not in the fire lane. We are allowed to park here. So um, we are getting start on things. You might say, Pink, isn't it Sunday? Don't you not work on Sundays? Well, no, I have to work on Sundays because weekends are only a thing that happen to wealthy people and not when you make minimum wage and also I'm self-employed when it comes to working in my office. Uh, my employer of my second job does not permit me to do my job from within my office. So we are going to... Oh, shit. How do we open this library? I don't know how to use Final Cut. Thank you for checking in with me at my office. Today we also do have the DX100 with us. I don't know how to open this anymore. We'll find that out later. So first of all, yes, these are the feet that gave my coworker bad dreams about not moisturizing. So um, the thing about point shoes that like I want to express, by the way, for those of you who are like, oh, we wanted foot cam, here you go, um, is that if we pretend that my headboard is the floor and we go all the way up on point on our toe, when we fail because we haven't done ballet, we just have terrifying feet, um, our feet are going to go in the path of least resistance. Now, the joint here bends this way very little. I'm, you know, I'm out of room to bend, but it bends this way quite a lot. So when I go up and I don't have foot and ankle strength and I collapse, it collapses down in the direction that my foot normally goes. The thing about where is my hearing aid case... When you put your foot in one of these shoes and then go up on it, um, the path of least resistance is suddenly up here. This is what allows dancers to like flex the fact that there's no area here for their ankle. It lets them articulate, but um, it means that if you're just going up and you're not experienced, the easiest way for your foot to go is this way. And depending on how strong this, um, the shank is on this, you could go this way and snap your ankle up at the top, or you could go this way and snap your foot on the ball. And both of those happen because this shoe is trying to support you. The shoe supports you in the areas that the dancer needs support but it doesn't support you in the areas where a dancer is strong. So you put this on your foot and you stand up. Not only will you crush my hearing aids, but you will snap your foot like a taco. Can someone explain to me why a program that is as expensive as Final Cut is, when you try to save a file, doesn't go, oh, hey, I know that file's 64 gigs, and I know it knows that file's 64 gigs because it's the one telling me that. And then look at the place I want to save it and say, there's 10 gigs of space left on that. We should tell someone before we just try to export the entire thing onto a 10 gigabyte space. We should tell someone this. I improved your program and it took me 30 seconds, so, um, I want my money. So not as exciting as number one, the cow. But we do have a guinea hen who's gone rogue around here. We call her Beverly. She's currently making some noises. Beverly, what's up? She sounds like a squeaky mattress. We're pretty sure she was the neighbors and she just doesn't know how to get home. But we don't know how to get her home either. So, this is Beverly. I feel like I need to get her food one of these days. Honey, you just cornered yourself. 
Honey. Honey, you're trapped now. I know, it was scary, huh? Scary person with a camera. It's okay, you'll find a way through eventually. Good job, you can fly. All right, well, she's back on her side. I'm betting she'll come back any day now. It's what she does. Beverly, what you doing now? What are you purring about? We're not doing anything. I'm not petting you. I'm ignoring you. Okie dokie, so costume designer confession here, um, when I'm truing this up and you need this side seam to have a, um, or this sleeve seam, to have a right angle on it, you can break out your, like, ruler and things like that, or you can do what I do, which is just eyeball it with the scissors and say, that's a right angle, boop, there we go, I fixed it, I fixed your problem, there we go. That is not the correct way to do that. I think Mid wants something from me, but I don't know what it is. Hey, Midnight, what do you want? If I make a move to get up, are you going to react? Mid. Midnight. What do you want? <laughs> Got mad scientist hair today. I want to let you know that I have been trapped here. I put the pillow over my lap because I was moving it. Somebody opportunistic jumped on it. And now I've been trapped here for several minutes. Because someone is so comfortable and so happy. Yeah, okay. But the best way to get her to move is to break out the camera. See? Now I'm free. I've got two interesting pieces of information going on here. Uh, one is that somebody set up like a roadside memorial uh, at the hood, the front of my of my house. I don't know what like. I don't know how to go snoop at that because there's somebody mourning there. But like, this is this is my road. This is my house. There's only twelve people who live here. There's only twelve people. What is what is going on with that? Like, I I need to find out who died or something. But also, uh, I can't go encroach on someone's mourning. I hope it's not somebody I know. The other news is that I stole a shopping cart. Okay, friends, it is a very important day in this little baby cart's life. Um, apparently my... Oh, gosh. Um, I thought my cell phone mount would be good for this, but it's not. All right, folks, it's a very important day in this little baby cart's life because over there is a Dollar Tree, and we're gonna, we're gonna release this back into the wild. And I want you to be here for this. You might be saying, Pink, did you just leave it in the middle of the parking lot for the poor cart attendant to fucking uh, have to take back? Yeah, I've already taken it six miles. I don't want someone to come in and go, oh, what the fuck happened? Why did that girl take the cart out of her car? Guys, I'm trash. I'm garbage and just like, 
Punch me in the face next time it's faster. So we are waiting for a train, and this train sometimes takes eight or nine minutes. So the car is turned off, which I believe legally permits me to vlog in the car. Um, let's see, can I flip the camera? No, I can't. I'm also not hand-holding my phone. It is an amount. Um, I guess since I'm just going home, I can probably take my mask off my ear. Um, okay, there's the engines. That might have triggered it, but sometimes the engines will come through and then they will back the train up again because they're actually loading it at a station over there. So the train can take a while and I was just gonna like spitball some ideas for future me to re-record so that I can make a video more quick. Um, but it looks like the train's done. Okay, cool. So that's just, we're never gonna make this video now. Thanks train. Please set your card orientation straight to the right. Your transaction was not authorized. Please, your transaction was not authorized. Please, your transaction was not authorized. Would you like to have a receipt? Please wait while your card is being authorized. You yeah, know what the best part about being an adult is? Oh, really? Eating chicken fried steak like this. Hmm. Please add New device. card this time. Let's find out. Your card could not be read. It's not Please my card. Please your card again or try and would you like to have a receipt? All right, might be my card. Please wait while your card is being authorized. So for those of you who don't remember previous pretzel day videos, this is the part of making pretzels where you just kind of casually lean on the mix master for five to seven minutes so that it doesn't fly off your counter. You know, like normal people do. Normal pretzel day. Normal pretzel things. Shrink the dink! Shrink the dinks! Shrinky! There we go! Shrink the dink! Shrink the dinks! Shrink! Why don't you want to shrink? Shrink dink.
Oh, it's a fucking video, damn it. It's a fucking video! So on the list of ways that where I live isn't a real place, um, we are, as I've mentioned before, sort of out of range of the fire department. So my whole house has, like, defensive, uh, uh, hang on. Uh, defensive plants and things, are you gonna, you gonna flip? There we go. As, like, all this defensive, uh, landscaping. So if, um, all these plants are designed to not burn, um, but if I hear a bunch of sirens that sound like fire trucks, I have to, um, go and go out and turn on sprinklers because it's our best defense. So now I have to, because we don't have enough water pressure to run all the sprinklers, I have to guess which sprinklers are going to be the good ones to turn on. So I have to guess what direction a fire would be coming from. So, like, we're going to guess over there, and I'm going to hit that sprinkler I just hit, and then I'm going to hit, like... One over here. I should not be talking while I do this because I do not want to step on a snake. Because if I leave the irrigation running while I get like while I stepped on a snake, you know that's not going to be a good setup. So we're going to turn on that one, and we're going to turn on this one, and we're going to make sure that that's on powerful enough to swap. There we go. Um, anyway, that, I hope, is going to give us, like, a little bit more of a chance in case the neighbors, so, like, we'll see the neighbors having some kind of bonfire set up. I'm like, well, we better turn on the fucking sprinklers, that's the only defense we have. And it's not like, we have this whole section, you know, designed to be less fiery, but, um... So I need to go set an alarm to turn off the irrigation in half an hour. Hope that that's good. I should probably hit this front one too. Yeah. Yeah, we don't normally have this many sprinklers on at once. But... This is what I do. Okay, that'll be fine. So I gotta turn off the sprinklers in half an hour if my house hasn't burned down. Okay, now we get up, we put our shoes on. We hurt our ankle a week ago and it's still not better because we're like just secretly getting old and we're not okay with it. And we go through the house, we go all the way over to Hi, Teensy. We go all the way over to the sprinklers that we turned on and we turn them back off because if there was a fire, we would have already hit it. So we're going to go over here. Um, and yes, this is all like dry out here. Um, we do have a fire break as well. Um, don't get me wet. I have my phone. Don't get me wet. Okay. That sprinkler apparently was not on enough to um, do its auto flip. They're supposed to do an auto flip, um, but we don't have enough water pressure to run all of them. Because we can't get irrigation water out here. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that part. We can't get irrigation water out here because we are simultaneously in two districts. Hi, Teensy. We're simultaneously in two districts. Hi, Nanite. And we can't uh, 
get water from either of them because I swear that we're in the other district. So, um, the funny thing is, though, that the, um, one of those districts is called the NID, which is funny because it reminds me of Stargate. Um, and the NID actually have a drainage ditch that runs through this property. And we legally cannot obstruct that, even if it would feel great. But you know who legally can obstruct that? And who, honestly, we have just never stopped from obstructing that? The local beavers. What's your voice sound like? That? Midnight. You gotta talk on the camera or I'm not gonna give you food. I know it's cat abuse, right? Can you talk, please? You were talking before I turned on the camera. What do you want? Yeah? Can you say it one more time a little bit louder? One more time? see how this is. I'm just sitting here. She's under the chair purring like I'm petting her. The cat is broken. We're not gonna freak out. We're not gonna freak out. There's 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 a dead squirrel back there and like it's like right on the road. It's like right off to the side like the side of the there's a dead squirrel. And I saw the dead squirrel and I went, okay, I don't wanna and I like jump forward because it didn't want me because it didn't want me next to the dead squirrel. But now I don't have shoes. I'm just walking around out here on my road like I like I always do. I can't go in there because there's a stuff in the in the in the feet and I'm gonna get to now I have to go past the dead squirrel. Now I can't go home until I go past the dead squirrel. I do this every time I trap myself over away from from the house because because I didn't want to di dead squirrel I just, I, I just don't know now I can't go home I guess we're a little bit more calm now we're still not going back to the to the dead squirrel um and it'll let you know this is not like me like overreacting for the sake of of, of the video I, I I actually am like I, I dead things no um and, like, one time I needed to call someone to drive me home because I couldn't walk past the dead deer again. Like, the dead squirrel is, like, a little, a little, bit, um, a li a little bit better than dead deer. I can probably go home, but, like, oh, gosh, I just, why am I, ugh, it's, it's just really dead. Okay, so that up there is, um, mostly, like burrs um like that's all like pokey grass i'm trying to open this door uh, and i don't have shoes but i think i think it will be better to go up this way on my feet if i can use a gate wow I think it would be better to go up this way and just not step on a rattlesnake than it would be to call somebody and have them drive me past the dead squirrel. So, uh, we're gonna do this. And <laughs> good thing my new job lets me sit down because there's like, I'm gonna step on some plant that's gonna go straight into the soft arch of my foot and it's gonna hurt. But right now we have tire tracks to walk in. We also have to be quiet because we don't want to step on a rattlesnake. If you step on a rattlesnake on your second day at the job, that's a lot of paperwork and you don't know how to fill it out anyway. Okay. I should probably just like live stream this at this point instead of like... See, there's the end of the the end of the tire tracks yeah I can't actually talk while I do this because I do not want to step on the snake okay so we were talking about burn days a while back 
This is a burn space, and as previously mentioned, I don't have shoes. We are frighteningly close to the dead squirrel still. Um, so I know that we've burned here, and so I really don't want to step through this because that is where you get rusty nails. Uh, we do know that I got my tetanus shot pretty recently because I made a YouTube video about that. Those last 10 years, right? So, oh, there is something down there, though. There is some pokey plant. It's probably blackberry. It's probably Himalayan blackberry. Oh. I have to get over there. I'm still in my front yard. Okay, so we have a hose here because we burn down here. You don't burn without a hose. And I'm going to follow the hose for one really important reason, and that is that I don't have a stick when you're walking through here, you absolutely need a stick and you poke it in the ground in front of you so that if there's a snake, the snake, like, doesn't want to fuck with the stick and it leaves. So we're going to use this instead. And we're just going to, like, uh, follow it because I can rattle on it and coerce a snake into leaving is my hope. Because, like, are you saying, wow, failing the basics of safety with the, um, the snake thing, because you don't want to walk past a dead squirrel. Yeah, that's the kind of garbage that I am. Um, I can, because that's just the kind of mess that I am. Like, and I like when people are like, oh, is this the kind of anxiety that you see your psychiatrist about? No, we're dealing with way worse anxiety than that. This is just how I interact with dead Dead I, I, it's like right over there. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna step on a nail. I'm gonna step on a nail. I'm gonna die of tetanus right after I got a new job. Oh boy, okay. So. Ugh. I miss when we had horses, they would like regularly walk paths into this. All the horses died in 2015, which is okay because it means they didn't have to live to see the mess that was the 2016 presidential election. They got to peacefully pass away of old age, actually right over here, so I'm probably uncomfortable walking around here while thinking about that. Oh. One of them peacefully passed away of old age. One of them peacefully passed away because we uh, put her to sleep because she had a brain tumor. But you know, that's the thing about... And there's just this part of me now as I'm doing this, it's like, what if there's a dead thing underneath the plants? I would say, why are you, like, filming this for YouTube clout? I'm not. I'm filming this because talking to the camera is stopping me from panicking right now. So, like, here we are, we're making, we're making good progress. And I don't believe I'm keeping an eye out for our beloved buddy Poison Oak. Because now that I have a job where I sit down, I don't want to be sitting down with Poison Oak. If I had a job where I threw freight still, I could do that and, like, channel all of that stress into, a. Uh, channel all the itchiness into throwing freight better, but, uh, uh, okay, okay, that's our, that's our goal. Ow, there's something in my arch of my foot now. I don't have a chance to go pick it out, it's just gonna be there.
It's a dead squirrel by the gate, so I couldn't walk past it. Oh. Mm. Right. Yeah. Hey, Teensy. Okay, it's the next day. And, um, I want to go on a walk, but I don't know if anyone's moved the dead squirrel. So, we're going to also, I realized I'm probably just going to compile this and put it in some dumb YouTube video. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's how Americans say squirrel. Um, as far as I know, that is how everybody I've ever met has said squirrel. Um, we don't do squirrel. Squirrel. S-K-W-I-R-L, squirrel. Okay, so we have these trees that make this, like, ethereal-looking, uh, petals of, like, cottony fiber, and I, they're falling down gently onto the ground, and they may be obscuring the dead squirrel. So, I don't know if I can go on a walk yet. I don't know if someone has moved the squirrel. Okay. Okay, dead squirrel. I don't know, but it's right about here. I'm not, like, I'm not making this up. This is just how I am. And now, like, thinking that there might be the dead squirrel, I think we're going to back up because I can't, I can't see that it's not there. So we're probably going to just, like, go fucking, and maybe we'll drive our car somewhere. Because since I changed jobs, I don't have the benefit of getting to aggressively damage my body throwing flowers at a wall. Um, so my store is very large. Um, it's the, I think, third largest of our chain in my state, and my state is the second largest in the country, and my country is stupid, so it's a big store. Um, and I, uh, I was the entire floral department, so good luck with that now, guys, that I've left. Sorry to everybody I left, but good luck with that. So I just would come in and, like, single-handedly work, like, 30, 40 crates of merch. And I could just do that, like, standing still. Like, so, you know, we wear masks. So I'm wearing my mask, and I can just, like... I'm writing this really, really cool, like, fictional universe in my head. I didn't get to work on that for two days because I was doing, like, other jobs where I got to sit down. But I also was next to someone, so I couldn't just sit there and quietly talk to myself under my mask. So now I need to, like, walk somewhere and do my, do my mask, like, talking thing. I can't leave my house. There's dead squirrel on the road. On like the side of the road, so you think you're safe and then it's there. And I can't walk back through the pasture again. I can't do it. So, we're gonna have to figure out what we're doing. Okay, so we are in my car. I'm gonna turn the high beams on. We are now going to, um, I guess, drive up and see if the squirrel is still there. Like, is that it? Um, I can't see if it's still there or not. And everybody who thinks I'm being, like, silly over the top about this, this is genuinely just how I am. Oh, thank you. We've got Aurelio Voltaire providing some adequate, um, backing. I think I'm looking at it in my rear view, and I think, I think the squirrel is gone. Um... But I did just get a new job, so we're gonna go uh, buy some coffee to celebrate that. Um, Cause I gotta sit down and think, I just gotta do something. Other than doom scroll tumblr, which apparently is what I do. Speaking of which, um, everybody, since I have like popularity on this, I have a friend who has been dutifully reblogging cat pictures on tumblr for like 10 years now. Um, so go follow Ironically a Hipster on Tumblr, because I've only got like 200 subscribers. 
And uh, for those of you who are new to this, uh, this is not a violation of the law because I'm on private road. Someone did recently die here though, I should probably stop vlogging. Filming this for you, I came home and there's horses at my house. I, there's, there's, there's paint horsey there. There's a, there's a bay horse right there. They're just at my house eating my lawn in my parking spot and I gotta park my car somewhere. There's horses. Just wanted to let you know, I don't know why, but there's horses at my house. This video is for Chelsea. Hey. Are you friendly? Oh yeah. Are you friendly boy? Hmm? You friendly? Hello. Hello. Okay. You're chill. Oh, do you want do you want head scratches too? Hey, bud. Hi. Yeah, no, fake nails are great. Okay.